Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had way too much coffee today. <laughs> nope, it's not there yet. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Miley, and she was feeling blue today. Clearly, just blue. Blue. So I'm just gonna jump right into this video. Today I am going to be painting my face. Why, you might ask? Because I feel like it. I don't wanna do this anymore. Today I wanted to do something a little easier, maybe not as time consuming, but still a ton of fun, and just paint my face. It's a slow, slow, tedious project. I'm not exactly really sure what I want to paint on my face. I have some ideas floating around in this brain up here. I definitely want to stick to something summery, but also kind of spooky. Spooky summery? Is that a thing? I want to do a collection of flowers across my face and like maybe add some butterflies here and there but then also make it spooky. <laughs> Probably should start out by making a face chart. That's what I was taught to do in my makeup classes in college, so that's what I gotta do. I'll probably make a face chart. I won't stick super close to the face chart, but it will just get some of these ideas down on a piece of paper. I'm gonna go take off this makeup I put on just for this intro, make a face chart, and get started. So if you would like to see a spooky summer look, keep watching. Makeup is off and when I paint my face, I prep my skin just like I would if I was doing normal makeup. I put primer down on my face and eyes and I even put foundation and concealer and powder and do all that stuff. In this particular look, the whole face isn't going to be covered so I still want to make sure I have my normal base down. Now my base is done, I take a brown eyeliner and I start to map out where I want everything to go. This is a rough idea of where I want everything to go. I have more flowers to fill in, but I want to start with the bigger pieces. I, um, I unfortunately do have to cover up my eyebrows for this look. Um, this is the one time I am super envious of people that have thinner brows because covering up my eyebrows is such a pain. So I'm going to start with doing that. It's going to be a process. So to cover up your eyebrows, if you didn't know, you have to brush the hairs up and then use the purple Elmer's glue. It's gotta be the purple stuff. I don't know why exactly, but it just does. It works the best. And yes, I usually do a few layers of this. I wait for the first layer to dry and then I go back in with a second layer because my eyebrows are just too dang thick really lather that on there. If you do know how to cover up eyebrows better or like you're a pro at this, please let me know. Drag queens out there, help a girl out. Seriously. Hair is down. Now I have to wait for those to dry. Okay, 
I think this eyebrow is pretty dry, so I'm gonna go in with my second layer. Okay, that's a good one. Let's feel this side. This side, feeling good. Let's go for it. Taking some setting powder. It's time to uh, now powder. That's what I've been told to do. So, again, if you are a drag queen, help a girl out. Those feel good. Those, those, those feel, those feel, those feel good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. This is the part where we're actually probably going to look really funny. We have to cover them up. So. I don't think I've ever looked better. Yes. She is a blank canvas. Beauty and she's great. She's Miss United States. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. This is where my life has led me. To this very moment in time. Be a little naked mole rat on a camera. Yeah, I'm going to quickly prime my eyes. For my face paint, I have an array of face paint, but the main one I'm going to be using is this 12 color palette by CC Beauty. The first steps I am doing is planning out where the kind of scully parts are gonna go. Cause those are usually just well black. So I'm taking some black eyeshadow and just going to set my eyes for right now because this is a cream base makeup so you need a powder to set it. Now it's time to kind of start filling in the base colors of all of the flowers. attempted this. I've seen this done quite a bit um, from other makeup artists that I follow, but basically they will take something they drew on a piece of paper, attach it to their head, and then continue the rest of the design on to the face. And I am contemplating either using eyelash glue or I do have liquid latex and I'm trying to choose which one I think is going to be the best to make this butterfly or half of this butterfly stick. I'm going to go with liquid latex. I think that's the right choice. If it's the wrong choice, oops. <laughs> secure. I'm glad I went with the liquid latex. So I'm going to continue on starting to add more details to all of my flowers. watching me very intensely. Why me? What, what do you want, bud? Feels neglected, so 
I have to give him some love every once in a while. Onwards and upwards, everybody. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Using a brown eyeshadow to add some shadowing around each flower is going to help make it look like it's popping out a little bit more and make it look more 3D. Oh, it's gonna be so quick. Probably should have not gone with watercolor because it's really hard to mimic the watercolor on this time, but I'm trying here. that for right now. Come back to it, most likely. I'll move on. I want to fill in something right here. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe like a little blue flower, but the butterfly is blue. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Choices are hard. Choices are hard. I don't know if that made it worse or better, but we're sticking with that. For me to take a sheer liquid liner. Don't know why I said that with a Scottish accent, but got this tiny little guy where I can get real precise lines. I feel like I am talking like this because I have makeup all over my lips. I think of what I want to do down here in my chin area. I think I might do more of those like cute little blue flowers. Now that my lips area are done, I'm going to go around with the black and also go around all the other leaves that are around my face. <laughs> adding black around some of the flowers is going to help make them pop. I decided instead of doing these small flowers, I um, the small little blue ones, I think I'm going to do more like like a like a baby's breath or something maybe a little bit of blue in there but i'm gonna see how that works out
I might be done, guys. And I think we're ready for the grand reveal. Even though there's really, you know, you're seeing me, but you know, I will be back. said summer spooky this is what I was thinking of we have the assortment of flowers we've got that butterfly and then we've got the uh, the skull summer spooky and for me to do it has been a while since I have painted my face and I also really like that I tried out something new with the little butterfly. If you would like to see more videos like this, please comment down below. And if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you know when I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Spooky.